we're planting trees to um, restore an ancient woodland which has been planted with conifer so we've thinned the conifer out and there's been some tree planting done in the past and we're replacing trees that have died and uh, adding some new trees into the mix to try and change this from a conifer plantation into a, a more native woodland type. So the process is the volunteers uh, come along and we can uh, find, sometimes we're looking for natural regeneration so that's trees that are already here that we can protect and we use the, the tubes um, to stop them being eaten and browsed by deer and sheep that might get into the wood. So the volunteers will come along and where we find natural regen, they'll protect that. And if there is no regen on, uh, in, in the area that we want trees to grow, then we can, uh, we can get in and we can plant some extra trees in those spaces to try and thicken the, thicken the woodland up. But there's no real restrictions to, to where we can plant trees or spacing. Um, the, 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 the Forestry Commission makes recommendations depending on what you want your final use for the timber to be so if you're wanting really high quality furniture grade timber then you plant the trees quite close together so they grow up nice and straight and uh, you get nice straight logs out. On this site it's not a site that's easy to access so this is going to be much more a conservation woodland so we're not so interested in timber quality so we can have, we can have a, a wider spacing so there'll be some places where we're perhaps two or three meters apart and some places where it's wider apart so it's a much more random, more natural effect. I think the, the community should be involved in the event because, because woodland is, is hugely important to the community. It provides habitat, it provides shelter, it often provides fuel. Um, so, and, and these woodlands particularly, uh, where they're growing next door to rivers, they're uh, limiting loss of soils, so they're capturing soils being washed off the washed off the hills and, and some of the other work that's been going on today that helps things like repairing footpaths and managing drains um, and they also capture um, phosphates and other other chemicals which are bad news if they kind of get into the watercourses so anything that supports woodland management is a, as far as I'm concerned it's a great thing to do.